Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Oh, oh my God, it's that's like already so bad. Coming her, right? That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh my God, her fanny is rotten. Oh, it's, oh, oh, oh she's oh. turning it round. Uh, she's turning it round. It's got to be blunt. It's got to be blunt. That, that is, oh, God. Yeah. Have some respect for yourself. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and Freddie Quinn. Hi, Rob. Hello. If you had to fuck... No. <laughs> it's a bit... <laughs> no. We've just tried to... St- <laughs> We've tried to do a, a public episode. And if you... Right. It's now going to be on Patreon. <laughs> the first time ever that we got midway through and went, we can't release this. Yeah, we couldn't... <laughs> Like, we have put some wild shit on YouTube, and, like, we will continue to put wild shit on YouTube. But, like, if, if you go on our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod, three pounds yeah. a month, you will see immediately why that one's not on YouTube. Put it this way, we opened up... No, <laughs> no. We're, we're, not, no we're also opening an episode right now, so I'm don't say it again. I'm going to use, like, Euphemism. better language. You're right, okay. We opened up oh, with a, a... discussion. ...discussion mm-hmm. about... Hypothetical. A hypothetical a discussion. A hypothetical discussion about whether or not one might fornicate a child. <laughs> fornicate. Yeah. Makes it sound too playful. Let's leave it at that because we're going to get straight back into the game. <laughs> We've been down this road before. <laughs> for a billion pounds. Uh-huh. And it, it opened some doors. Uh-huh. Um, Rob said he'd do it for 10 grand. Um, <laughs> Who said he'd do it for a fiver? <laughs> if you want to see what happened, Mate, yeah, no, I'd go do on it. to Patreon. I'm pay to play. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's like, oh, that's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> He's treating it like a game of six aside. <laughs> Oh, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. again. Who's not paid the subs? (laughs) I've paid the dom. (laughs) Ah, he's not brought shin pads. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, So welcome to the episode. He's a big fat cunt. Sorry, I didn't get to that. You Uh, cut me off. Hi. Uh, (laughs) Just got to drop it in. No, you don't. I mean, uh, I do. No, you don't. It's tradition. People get angry if I don't. It's branding. Yeah, it's branding. Exactly, yeah. Uh... Building the brand of the podcast, (laughs) which is unprofitable that's our brand yeah <laughs> i just destroy every income stream we are never getting ad re- revenue on youtube i'm never allowing it no, i mean i would like you to rethink that sure. based on the fact that we need money i know i get that but i think we're on a list anyway so you know why chase it w- what? well like literally everything we post gets demonetized now doesn't it literally anything yeah but i feel like maybe this could be the episode right where we make it all the way through without demonetizing i have already called you a big fat cunt uh at- a big fat C word. Yep, there you go. Fine. Okay, yeah, fine. We'll try, okay, that's fine, fine. now. I've covered it. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Rob. Yes. Uh, as you know, uh, Liz Truss is now the Prime Minister. Yeah. Uh, what fiscal responsibilities might she bring to the role? Um, I don't know, but I'd like to give her some fiscal ah, responsibilities. I did not hear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> what are uh, Truss's main priorities? Um, stop being a horrible <laughs> Apparently, she's offering a billion pounds. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to pay your energy bills, mate. Yeah, Jesus. What are we hoping to heat the homes with friction? <laughs> Again, let's get off this right, road. So, get... sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a public episode. <laughs> what? We're in a very mischievous mood. Yeah, I really like. I'm up for. I'm up for burning it down, mate. Hey, here's the thing. Uh, yeah. We went for some food during the interval. Yeah. Uh, me, Rob, and producer uh, Tom, and we were sat at a table mm-hmm. with four seats. You're so obsessed there with was this. A side that said this table is for groups of five or six only. And I cannot get over it. I, know, I can't really... get over the fact that there's four seats. They've got no fewer than five. Yeah, well, you count as two or three, don't you? So... Oh, you've done a fat joke. Yeah, I've done a little fat joke, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well done. Do yeah. you feel better about yourself? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Well, that's all that matters, isn't yeah. it? Every time I do it, I'm like, oh, 
I'm not a big fat cunt. Great. Uh, Rob, yeah. I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When was the last time? Two billion. <laughs> no. Sorry. No. Sorry. When was the last? <laughs> when was the last time you had a sit down wee? Oh, I love a sit down wee, mate. Because I'm big into equality. No, uh, I, yeah. I, I, it, I saw your tweet, so I know what's you going. Saw my tweet. But like, I know I genuinely do like a sit down wee. But like, I'm only only at home. I'm having a sit down wee. I don't think I've ever had a sit down. Have you not? Treat yourself, I'd, mate. It's nice. Take the weight off. When I'm having a shit and a wee comes up, I wouldn't go and specifically sit down for a piss. Oh, no, I, I will. I wouldn't purposely have a sit down wee. Do you never treat I've, yourself? I've done it. No, no. I have had a sit down wee before when I'm so physically un- hungover mm. that I can't face looking down. Like, so, you know, when you're so hungover that you're just like, I can't even look down towards the towards the toilet bowl. Wow. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't this? know if I've hit that level of hungover. And, like, I'm, I'm now sober. <laughs> like, I don't know if I ever got have to the car and look that, down. Have you never been that hungover that looking down's hard work? What, so you just spend all day like this? No, 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 because looking up's equally hard work. What you have to do is you have to keep your head at a level high. Right. Like a spirit level. Shuffle yeah. around. Well, it's yeah, easier yeah. for you. You've got a built-in neck pillow, haven't you? So it's just keeping you propped. <laughs> So sometimes if I if I'm really yeah. hungover, I'll have a sit down wait right. just so I can go. Like I'll just that. do. I, I just uh, yeah. If I'm at home, sometimes I'll have a sit down wait Just sometimes will. Especially um, if I've had a shag that day, because otherwise it's going. You know, it's going like all over the place, isn't it? If you piss after you've had you sex, have a penis like a little flute. Yeah, <laughs> I like yeah, it comes the, out the sides. I like the challenge of that piss though. No, I don't need that challenge in my life, mate. My life is challenging enough that I don't <laughs> yeah. need to I, have potentially I soggy mean, socks. I mean, Rob's challenge as a man with ADHD comes from trying to leave a room with all of his belongings. Exactly. <laughs> Literally everything I do is a challenge. So, like, I, I'm fine to just have a little rest, a little break, and have a little sit down. Or, wait. like, remembering a task that he's just been given. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Those are Rob's little challenges <laughs> yeah, throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. What would happen is Rob would piss all over the seat and then finish his piss, and then forget that he's pissed, and then he'd get downstairs, and then he'd remember that he needed to wipe piss up, and then he'd go back upstairs, yeah. and then he'd see like something out the corner of his eye that'd be like a fucking, I, I don't know, like a little Marcelo Bielsa fucking figurine that's not turned the right way. And then Tell he'd me go more up, about this figurine. He'd go, <laughs> sat on a bucket, yeah. getting sacked. Uh, <laughs> I don't he, think they sacked him like that. <laughs> I don't think he brought it to the meeting. I like drives I, on it. <laughs> I like the idea that he came in and they went, Marcelo, take a seat. He went, I oh, yeah, brought my own. <laughs> Sat down a little bucket. You're no longer needed at the club. Okay. <laughs> Can I keep the bucket? <laughs> so the reason, the reason. What sorry, was what accent was that? It sounded like he was from. Chilean? Is it Chilean? No, he's Argentinian, Argentinian for a start. But also as well, can he keep the book? <laughs> the difference wasn't between Chile and Argentina. That wasn't the problem with your no, accent. No, you were a continent away, my friend. You, you oh, were... I'm sorry. Do you know all the regional accents of Argentina? No, but I know it's no. not that. I know it's not that. Do you? you sounded like a David Walliams character. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe you know how in Argentina, Argentina. You know, in Argentina, apparently have that little community of uh, Germans. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe there's a little community of, <laughs> of people from Mumbai that speak. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a bucket? <laughs> well, you made it. <laughs> it did sound like I'd rang my bank. <laughs> I was going to hang up on you. I thought you were a scam. <laughs> You're not from Microsoft. <laughs> um, so, uh, sit down, wheeze. Yeah. Uh, apparently... I am a fan, though, generally. like I do like one. Yeah, but never in public. Oh, Come never on, on a public Come toilet. Come on now. God, no. Because I've got the option not to put my ass on a public toilet seat, so I won't. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah That's yeah, only yeah. in last in, in emergencies, and even then, I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot of loo roll to wipe the seat before mm, I sit on it. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, and that, that is a, an emergency. But, but yeah, I also think home, the, sure. I also think the other reason that you don't have a sit down wee in uh, public is because you are a bigot and you don't care about trans men's feelings. Right, it's mainly because I don't want to put my ass in a urinal. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am also a bigot who doesn't care about trans men's feelings. Yeah, sure. So I saw this thing on Twitter and I retweeted yeah. it. I thought it was lovely myself. It was like, uh, more can we normalise men? sitting down to have a wee yeah. because not all men have a penis yeah. and it excludes them 
when <laughs> it excludes them from using the urinals. Right, now here's here's my thoughts on that, right? Firstly, if everyone starts using the cubicles, the trans men are going to have to queue. So that makes it worse for them. Do you know what I think is a really... Takes away one of the benefits of being a trans man, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. Do you know what I think is a really funny sort of offset to that? Yeah. The idea that there are some uh, women just pissing in you. Yeah. <laughs> just to include the trans women. Well, this is the thing. Right. Stand she we for equality. Come on now. Rather than all of us not using urinals, which get us through the toilet a lot quicker, there's very rarely a queue in the gents. It's one of the uh, advantages of being a man. Yeah. You know, the only one, probably. Um, yeah. yeah. That's it, isn't it? Mm. That's what the patriarchy is. We don't have to queue for a piss. <laughs> But like, right. that's that's why we control the world. Yeah. Not... We've got more time. Yeah. We've got to keep <laughs> things done. We're getting stuff done, ain't we? Yeah. We're efficient. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So rather than, rather than that, right? Rather than all us not using the urinals, why don't like trans men on the NHS? This can be on the NHS. Get a little uh, fake rubber knob shiwi. A fake rubber knob shiwi. So you know a shiwi? It's like a funnel for your fanny yes. so you can piss out of. Yeah. Why don't they make those with a fake rubber knob? Okay. And they can like whip it out of the trousers and have a little piss out of it. How big is that? Well, it'll be, be a he wee because you know okay. they're a he. How big will the knob be? A they wee, very big. Do they get to choose? Yeah, really? Because they're going to choose at some point anyway. And, and look, if they've right, if you're a dude who's not had a dick for twenty years, I think you get a big one. I think that's your payoff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're allowed. If I if I'd waited twenty five years for a penis, I'd yeah. want a fucking hammer, that thick one as Mate, well. Mate, I'd want one yeah. that'd hurt people. <laughs> I'd like one. I want to, when I pull out my fake rubber knob at the urinal. I want other people to like leave the toilets. Do you ever want it to get dark? Do you ever check out uh, other men's dicks at the urinal? No, because I'm not a homo. Never done that. Never, never, never. Just go. Oh, That's the only reason I've never had a sit down week because I like doing that. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, obviously, like there's sometimes we can't avoid it when someone whips out a monster. Yeah. It's just like it get, comes in your eye line like a yeah. fucking zeppelin so, covering the sun. Comes in your what? So. <laughs> <laughs> So. Enters my eye line. <laughs> what's Enters really funny is what's really penetrates f- my no <laughs> shags my no uh, jizzes in no <laughs> three billion. <laughs> so, um, what's really funny is that uh, like so men what they usually do is when they use the urinals is we have a piss. And we just stare at the wall in front of us. Yeah, we're it's like we're like, on the tube in London. Yeah. And you're just like, don't, don't even. Because even if you had like a crick in your neck and you just went like that, then you can guarantee that the guy next to you is like, fuck off. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just stare like that in front of you, dead. Yeah, fuck, yeah. you don't move. And then some fucking advertisers were like, I know what we can do. Yeah. And so now you have to read yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. advert for car insurance that they've just stuck in the middle. Mate, I had a guy in the Arndale uh, shopping centre in Manchester once. I was having a piss in there when I worked there. I used to work running a market stall. I know people are like always like going on about, oh, I've had every job. I have. I got fired from loads. I used to run a market stall. Yeah, he's like, um, imagine if they made Forrest Gump but none of the things that Forrest did were interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it was all just mundane grunt work, then it'd be me. It'd be like, I remember the time I worked at Morrison's. Clean, Forrest, clean. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Those two weeks being a charity mugger were the most informative of my life. I, was, I did that Lieutenant for Dan, break time. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so I was in the... Art- life is like a box of chocolates. Which is what I learned when I worked at Thornton's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Arndale on one of my many, many jobs. Right? I'm, I'm... Was this before or after you uh, founded Bubba Gump Shrimp Co? <laughs> <laughs> before the shrimp. Right. So I'm in, I'm in the Rhinos, right? I'm having a piss and there's a guy next to me and he's a, he's a little um, he's a little Asian guy, right? Really little, looks like a puppet almost. Just like so tiny. This little guy. What he did was they were like, you know, between urinals sometimes there's sort of a divider like that big. Yeah, sort yeah, of the yeah. size of the urinal that blocks between you. So yeah, you, you know, yeah, block yeah. your knob off a little bit. Yeah, like those Japanese room dividers. A little, the... yeah. What yeah. he did was uh, he got up on his... Right, so he's next to me at the urinal, right? Uh-huh. He got up on his tippy toes. And he's a little Asian guy. Little Asian guy. Okay. Looks over the <laughs> looks over the divider, mm-hmm. like peeps over it, like what no bananas, right? Like sorry, pop, what no bananas? You know, that thing, right, it's a thing, a little cartoon that from the war, like what W O T no bananas. It's oh, like, okay. Think the nose going over the top. I just thought he was looking at your dick and saying what no bananas. No, it was a reference <laughs> to a particular cartoon, mate. <laughs> right? okay. Because there definitely was banana on display, right? Okay, you know, not the the biggest banana he's ever seen, plantain, but, but a perfectly respectable <laughs> banana. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he pops his he pops his nose over it, like gets on his tippy toes, looks over it, and he just looks down at my dick, looks up at me, grins, and then licked the wall. <laughs> when, <laughs> All the way up it, a big long lick up the wall of the Arndale shopping centre toilet. Wow. And then just stood there grinning. And I did nothing. I was so confused. Uh And I was like, almost, I just had this thought of like, this guy's not listening to reason. Like, (laughs) if he's licking the wall of the Arndale, me having a conversation with him about boundaries really isn't going to fly. um, So I just sort of zipped up and left. I was in shock. Do you reckon he still thinks about you? I reckon I'm not the (laughs) only one he's doing that. I know. I know. But do you reckon from time to time he still thinks about, like, the one that got away? I reckon... (laughs) I gave him all my best moves and he just left. (laughs) I reckon, genuinely, he wouldn't recognise my face, but he would me knob. (laughs) I reckon it'd be like, who are you? And I'd be like, and I'd be like oh, uh, yeah, Arndale. <laughs> not, Arndale banana. Yeah. <laughs> not seen a scabby penis like that in ages. <laughs> I've not got psoriasis on me dick, to be clear. It's just on me head. Really? Yeah. I thought it was all over you. No, nah, it's just, well, it is for some people. For me, it's just where uh, on my hair. Just, just on under your my hair. hair. Under my hair, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Should've well, just... that's better than it being all over me knob. No, I mean, like, just on one leg you'd have preferred, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. But, you know, you don't Imagine get to choose. just on your dick. Well, that'd be bad. Because you've got it like, you know, no, it's only psoriasis. <laughs> really? and no one wants to give a flaky blowy, do So, they? I remember the first time I... Uh, Fucking got... knob dandruff. I remember it? the first time that I got high. Right. Um, there was a kid at school. Can't... Can I say his name? No, don't say his name. Say his name. All right. Don't yeah, say his name. name. No, no. Okay. There was a kid at school called Simon... Lomas. No. Um, <laughs> Simon was actually his first name as well, uh, but I'm thinking of a different surname. What um, was his address? So, uh, I don't know. I didn't hang around with him. <laughs> Simon Johnstondale. Simon Johnstondale. Simon Johnstondale. <laughs> if there is a person called Simon Johnstondale, it's I think it's we're not. all right. <laughs> Simon Johnstondale, right? Yeah. And he... I love Johnstondale. It's a lovely walk, isn't it? He had this uh skin condition mm. right but it was so i don't really know what the skin condition is but he had skin like an old man so right. he had really old man skin it's like, like thin a, and wrinkly yeah he was a really wrinkly he looked like a sharpe <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't like an old man just pretending to have a skin condition so he could go to school? Legitimately, if the film Benjamin Button was out at the time that we went to primary yeah. school, that would be his nickname. Yeah. <laughs> do you reckon when he gets his dick out, he goes, do you want to see my Benjamin Button mushroom? <laughs> he looked about 70, right? Yeah. He had his, And his whole family had this as well. So we had like five brothers and they all had like fucking this horrible leathery old man skin as well. And his dad looked like fucking leathery old man as well yeah. and i remember us getting high and for the first time and i you know when you get the the giggles for the first time sure i nearly pissed and shit myself thinking about what his dick would look like like <laughs> you imagine honestly, ball bag on, <laughs> no i like the idea that it's perfect if it's already wrinkling no, i like the idea that it's perfectly smooth <laughs> it's like a marble <laughs> A snow globe. Looks like a polished grapefruit. <laughs> and the doctor's like, you've got a backwards ball bag syndrome. A r- <laughs> backwards ball bag. I'm really sorry. Surely that would just be flipped the wrong way round. If it's backwards, it's on the top and it sort of covers your dick. Well, like ears. Like yeah, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's like ears. hanging on the top like, dealy, like dooley boppers. I've got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> your ball bag's smooth. But yeah. I- is that good or bad news? <laughs> the bad news, yeah. the rest of you looked like a ball bag. <laughs> yeah, he did. Honestly, his skin was like a ball bag. Yeah. His entire skin. And it was just thinking about what his dick looked like just fucking finished me. It absolutely fucking finished me. Because the the, the three options are, number one, it looks way better. Than and the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like a gorgeous, Normal dick. Yeah. gorgeous penis skin. <laughs> The second... Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, gorgeous is too much. Gorgeous, the second yeah. is that it looks about the same. Yeah. And the third is it looks worse in proportion <laughs> to how much worse a penis looks to... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And well, I... like, your actual dick skin doesn't look worse. Like, my dick's smooth, you know. That doesn't look worse than the rest of the body, does it? I think it looks the same as the rest of the body, if anything. Your dick skin. But the ball bag is the wrinkly bit, but the dick skin is, you know, normal, isn't it? Why are you looking at me like I'm weird? I don't know. I think my dick skin... If I had to pick the worst skin on my body, your dick skin. Yeah, probably. 
What's up, what's up with I your dick skin? Flaccid, it's wrinkly, and then yeah, 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 Flac- a little bit, but like, yeah, just because it's deflated, there's nothing wrong with the skin. My dick flaccid looks like a sad dolphin. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's just like you know, sort of over like the one to be a Netflix documentary about trying to free. <laughs> yeah, my dick was on blackfish. Yeah. <laughs> shouldn't have been. I told you, you shouldn't have coloured it in. <laughs> But yeah, no, like, you know, so uh, I reckon, I don't know, I, I, I do want to see it. Yeah. I want to see that guy's knob. So Simon... I want to see his normal skin. <laughs> Simon... Um... Put it in the edit, Sam. Do you know what? Let me see if I've got him on Facebook. <laughs> All right, yeah. Simon Johnston Dale. <laughs> yeah, you have a look for Simon Johnston Dale. Can... But like, I'm not like arsed unless he's got his dick out, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just seeing a wrinkly dude does nothing for me. I want to see wrinkly knob. Can we give him a free Patreon and see if he'll put his dick in the Discord? Absolutely, I'll pay for it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone knows Simon Johnston Dale, <laughs> or if anyone's got a wrinkly dick, send it in. Send us a picture. <laughs> see, 07520 Can we do competitions? WhatsApp. Who's got the worst dick? Oh, God, that is going to be a <laughs> fucking wide open field with our fans. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see the worst dick our fans Everyone have. send Rob your picture of your dick, yeah. please. Will well, judge who's quite, got the worst one. It would be quite funny as a competition. What do you think about this, Freddie? Right, competition for our fans. He lives in Richmond, Virginia now. Beautiful. <laughs> you, sorry, I've just thought of a little competition for the fans. Right, Freddie. Why don't we like give a little prize to whoever's got the smallest knob? Send us in a picture. Whoever's got the smallest one. Yeah, I'm we'll up send for that. You. I'm Whoever's up for that. got the smallest dick. Yeah, whoever's got the smallest yeah. dick, we'll send him a prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got you got to put a picture of it next to a fifty p. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> We need something for scale so we know what we're yeah, dealing yeah. with, yeah. Okay. I can't really find any pictures of him, but okay. like just remember. I imagine he doesn't take a lot of photos. <laughs> no. In fact, whoever's got the smallest dick can have a free Patreon. There we go, yeah. That's the They're only... probably already a Patreon, to be honest. Yeah, but we'll, we'll let you have it for free now. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he's on Instagram. I'm I'm not that arsed. To I be really am. Right Unless moved... he's on OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> then give a shit. I'm literally only yeah. interested in his ball. Back, We've mate. moved on now, Freddie. Yeah. yeah, I I got really stuck into that then. Yeah, because oh, no. it reminded me of who was the weirdest person that you went to school with? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> really? Nah. We used to go to school with a girl that had a pig art. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and she was like, "God, this is going to sound really horrible." You could tell. <laughs> like, <laughs> what did they just go? We'll give human arts to most people, but you're getting a pig. Honestly, I'm yeah. not even messing. Like. So she, she's like walking sister, on all fours. And your stuff. sister's getting a dog heart. <laughs> but what's funny is that she was she was a, a set above one of my mates, <laughs> <laughs> like below the pig. Yes, yeah, so one of my mates was in the bottom bottom yeah. set. Well, it wasn't, she didn't have a pig brain. So you know you have those sets where they go like, look, there's six of you. We we honestly we don't know what why you're even turning up to be honest yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah. But look, it just. Below bottom set, where yeah. it's just like, look, just we're not just, even going to try to yeah. you. Just sit here yeah. and just don't. Please do don't anything. stab each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in that one, and then yeah. she was in the one above. She was in the bottom one, but I think she worked hard, and I think they were like, oh, fuck it, go ahead. Yeah. But yeah. That's when you know you're thick in it. Like, yeah. When you're in bottom set. Yeah, it does, t- it does tell you. <laughs> yeah, when you get your exam results, that's when you'll really know. Well, I mean, I used to be a teacher, obviously, so yeah. like, you. It, it, it's a really funny time. I think year eight is about the time where kids start realizing that some of them are thick. Yeah. And it's a really weird self because they go, Sir, am I thick? And you go, No. They go, Why am I in the bottom set? And you go, mm, Because you don't try enough. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. You but the to... clever kids, they work out a couple well, this of years is it... before that, don't they? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> clever kids, you know, straight away that they're clever. Yeah. You get told. Just get yeah, told yeah. by everyone. I was always in like top sets at school and that. I was like, you know, didn't try. Mm. I was just like good at it for a bit. That yeah, ran was... out hard at the end when I got to university. But uh, yeah, I was always like naturally good at like school stuff. Just was. Yeah. Well, yeah, some people the have same. different mm. brains for different stuff. This is they? it. I'm like physically incapable. I can't do any sports. I'm fucking shit at every sport going. I'm really yeah. uncoordinated. Can't do any of that. But I can do like mental maths quickly. Like I could anyway. I don't know if I can anymore. I've not done it in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that bit of my brain stultified. So if they said, right, uh, in school now we're getting rid of all fucking maths and English and all that shit. And school is specifically about uh, 
building uh, things and furnishing rooms. And making oh, things Bobby's like about to get an A star. <laughs> However, old Quinn yeah. is getting put in the fucking cabin at the end of the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're also yeah, be yeah. like, can you just not eat the paint? That's gonna, you're going to be in that one. <laughs> Now, Freddie will just get you to do his work. For yeah, him. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much. Yeah, what this is like happens. this. This studio was like a group assignment at school. <laughs> <laughs> like Freddie's yeah. turned up on the day to do the presentation. Like, yeah, this is what we've done. I can't do it because I don't care. Yeah. And if I if I don't care about something, then there's no way of making me do it. I can't make myself do it. Yeah. It took me ages to learn how to pass my driving test. Ages. I reckon I had a hundred lessons. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just like wanting to get out of paying a guy fucking twenty quid every week. I yeah. No, to no, just I like... just I didn't give a shit enough because yeah. uh, I, all of my mates didn't drive. I only lived in Preston at the time. I didn't care enough, and so I keep doing it, and then I'd stop. I failed my um, I failed my theory test three times. How do you fail the theory? The theory? How do you fail the theory? No, I passed on the third time. Right. So the first time, yeah. the first time, I didn't have the um. So you know you had like the practice discs yeah. that you could use on your computer. I didn't. Well, have, I was downloading an app. I didn't I have the. Um, you don't need to. Any, it's fucking easy. I didn't have the hazard perception disc, uh-huh. right? And I was like, it's going to be fine. And I genuinely, I turned up, and I thought it was going to be like. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Resident Evil. Like I thought they were going to pop out and be like. Bleh. Well, you thought like, you'd have a little plastic gun, yeah, like yeah, shooting well, at the screen. He thought. And if you failed, you had to put another I, quid in. Well, yeah, I thought has a perception was like a, a reaction test, and it, it was going to sort be like, of is. is. No, but I thought that it was going to be like they were going to jump out and you're like like that, and they'd be like, "Oh, you can react quickly." Right. Whereas a lot of it is like just noticing that there's somebody. There's a kid with a football that yeah, might roll in the road. Exactly. Yeah. So you were trying to preempt it. What, sorry? You thought they were going to jump out and you were trying to get there I, before. I thought that they were going to jump out. And so I was waiting for someone to jump out. And so there's like a car turning out of a junction. I'm like, fuck that. I'm waiting for someone to jump out in the middle you of the road. Idiot. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, how could a car be a hazard? And then it, it, it got like to the second clip and I did a whole fucking thing and I'm like this. And you didn't and then, click once. And then, yeah, I didn't click once. The thing just Jesus. ended. And I was like, Oh, I think I fucked this. Yeah. And then lo and behold, I had fucked See, it. See, I took my theory in Yorkshire and two of my hazard perceptions were about sheep entering the road. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, two of them were about rural sheep wandering into the road. That was the hazard. What does these do if there's yeah. lost sheep in the middle of the road? Yeah. Um, I genuinely think if you failed your theory, you shouldn't be allowed to drive ever. The, yeah, the yeah, second yeah. time... I think you're donned, you're too thick for the road. <laughs> Sorry. The second Taxis time... Taxis for you, dumb dumb. The second time they wouldn't let me do it because I didn't have the paper thingy. Right. So they, they just wouldn't let me do it. And I, I was managed like, to take all my paperwork. And I was like, and I was like can, I, uh, can I rebook it? And they were like, no. Nah. I was like, fuck off, then fine. And then the third time I slept in because I'd been out the night before. And um, so me and my mates at the time were really into taking tramadol. Uh-huh. So you would take tramadol and the idea is that you wouldn't get a hangover because you just sleep straight through it. Sure. And so I was like, I'll have this and I'll take this tramadol. And then yeah. I slept straight through the... Drinking uh, like Gazza in 93. <laughs> Fuck's this sake. is another reason why you shouldn't be allowed to drive. The night yeah. before your driving yeah. test, you took a load of tramadol because yeah. you were too drunk. Like yeah. last week when uh, he wanted to get a good night's sleep before he was driving in four hours, so he drank a <laughs> bottle of wine. And three cans. And three cans. <laughs> yeah. Because he had to be up in four hours and he wanted to be fresh. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just live my life without rules. Sure, have a couple of them. <laughs> unfortunately, couple, though, one of, yeah, unfortunately, there are, there are rules in society. Dri- there are and lots one, of driving rules. One of them is don't drive pissed. That is one of the rules. I think the rules behind driving are all fucked up. I think you should be able to get away with whatever as long as you don't crash. Right. So I think they're about think trying to stop be, people crashing in I, the first I place. I think you should be allowed to drive as fast as you want, providing that nothing bad happens. Right. Particularly on the motorway. But then like, if you do crash... It's much, much worse. But you've got, to, ad- you've got to admit, though, when you're driving back from fucking a gig hmm. and you're on the M6 or whatever, and the M6 goes, eh, it's 50 now. Yeah. And it's like, it's 2am. I'm like, nah. 
Yeah, I do it though because I got busted for that tw- like, twice on the same bit of road. I was doing like sixty in a fifty at two a.m. There's no one on there across county lines, so both counties fined me for the same thing. That, that happened oh. to me. I got two yeah. fines in one day. Yeah, it pissed me off. Yeah, brutal. So like, I don't speed at all now. I just drive like a nana. I'm like, whatever that sign says, that's what's going on my fucking speed limiter. Done. I was telling my dad I got oh, I got two speeding fines in one day. He gave me a big lecture. Oh, you shouldn't be speeding. You shouldn't be speeding. Like, Dad, you've been banned four times and you are currently speeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was actually speeding as, I, as he was giving me yeah. this lecture. I've only been banned once. Yeah. I got banned. Uh, I got banned on 2020, uh, the 13th of March, 2020. It's, one of, it's so annoying how smug he is about this because it, it just fucking worked out so well oh, for him. Oh, I, I really... It's, two it got, days it, later, we went into lockdown. <laughs> yeah. And so like, he served his <laughs> ban while no one was allowed out of his house. It was fucking unreal. <laughs> Unreal how jammy that was. Really funny. And you know as well, my dad was like, um, he was like, listen, you need to make sure that you're turning the engine over in that car. He goes, don't just let that car sit there for six months and start it. Because I'm telling you, it will not start. And I was like, whatever, whatever, dad, go on. And so naturally I just left it. And he was like, are you making sure? Are you making sure that you're turning that car engine? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do it once every couple of weeks. I'm like, not doing it. And then I go to turn it on. Uh, after my bad six months, it's not fucking moved an inch. I go to turn it on and it worked perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> that was I, I, It was one of those where I was so smug, but I had no one to tell. I think modern <laughs> engines are better. I don't think that's as much of an issue as this it used is to it. be. Do you, remember, you know? do you remember when they used to go, oh, cars, I tell you what, petrol cars, you get to 100,000 miles and they just stop working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no. No, the amount of cars I've bought on 95,000 and then driven for three years. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. They'll get to 200K now, modern yeah. petrol cars. No problem at all. Probably yeah. just keep them serviced. Welcome to Top Gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll no, be... they're funny on Top Gear. <laughs> I'll be Clarkson, punch a producer. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Let's what? fucking go. <laughs> he, Bring he, me a fucking steak, you cunt. We've not had a steak once. He fucking, like, like that was pretty mad, wasn't it? Yeah, it's he, mental yeah. that anyone defends him for that. It's yeah. crazy. He punched a member of staff on his show because they didn't bring him a steak fast enough. He punched that his in, boss. That is insane. Yeah. It is insane to think he can get away with that. Like, there's no job on earth where you can punch someone and it'd be fine, apart from you boxer. Were, to be yeah. fair, he did, get, yeah. he did get sacked, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, ah, it's an injustice. Yeah. yeah. It worked out better for him, probably. He's probably. A lot, a lot but... more money now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to add something to that. No. No, you are just going <laughs> to... Um, I wanted to talk to you as well. Oh, yeah. Um, how much of a fan are you of snooker? Um, I wouldn't describe myself as a fan. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen Steve Davis DJ techno music. That was fun. Okay. He's now a he's now a techno DJ, Steve Davis. Boring Steve Davis. Steve he's now, Davis. He's now he now DJ's he... hardcore minimal German techno. It's it's not even like entry level dance music. It's like fucking and like I, I, want... I always think Steve Davis looks like someone that gets pegged. Yeah, probably not. Do you know like, what I mean? Like really yeah. dull and boring. Like yeah, oh, yeah. there's just not really an awful lot about me, but actually. Plays hardcore German rave music yeah, yeah. while the fucking dominatrix fucks. That's, yeah, what, yeah. Drew, that's what Dream Into Snooker was the big long. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's what they do when they put his strap on together. They screw two yeah. bits like that. And they go, oh, pot the brown. <laughs> the dominatrix has to have a rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I used to watch a bit of snooker when it was on telly because there was only five channels and it'd just be on one of them. I'd watch snooker for an afternoon. Like, I don't hate it, but I'm not like a fan, but I watched quite a lot of it in the 90s. Same thing as Formula One, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that there is a thing at the moment yeah. where um, a transgender uh, snooker player has won the women's US like snooker fucking open or whatever, right. and people are kicking off about it? Which way are they trans? Uh, male to female. Male to female. So they're now female, and they yeah. went into women's snooker and yeah. won. Okay, get the fuck over it. How the fuck is that helping? Snooker. Exactly. It's not the fucking marathon, is it? It's yeah. snooker. It's about uh, precision it's not and finesse. Lifting. Why is there even a women's category anyway? Because otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like women can play snooker as well as men if they put as many hours into it, I'm sure, if they had the opportunities to. I don't see any reason why a woman should be worse at snooker naturally. Is that why she's winning? Because she's the only one that entered. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I don't, yeah, I don't see how being. Yeah, but. Look, even again, if it, even if it was just like a dude, even if it wasn't someone who transitions, yeah, yeah. I don't I've see what the advantage is. I've said this, and it I'm, doesn't take strength to hit a snooker ball. I'm does more it? than yeah. happy for this to be the hill that I die on. Right? right, is with the whole trans sports thing. The reason that we get it so wrong is we treat every sport like it's the same, 
And in reality... Bridge is technically a sport. Yeah. D- different sports have got different fucking yeah. technical requirements. And obviously, the uh, advantage that somebody who was born a male, biologically, would have in one sport yeah. is greater than it would be in another sport. Yeah. So if you're talking about, for example, like... Um, even something, and I, I, the obvious ones are like UFC. Or yeah, like, that, like wrestling. Where there's, there's a genuine danger that someone's going to get hurt way more than they should. Mm-hmm. But even if there's things like, for example, rugby or tennis or um, swimming or, yeah. uh, you know, running or things like that, there's obviously issues where somebody who was born a male and had all of the advantages of a male puberty... Yeah is going to have an unfair advantage. And I personally, again, I don't know enough about it, but I personally don't believe that six months on fucking testosterone blockers or whatever is enough to undo a full male puberty and all the advantages mm-hmm. that gives. There's See, random things care. as well. Fucking there's, let's go. There's, let's make women's sports there's, better. There's, <laughs> random, there's random things as well, like men's reaction times are yeah. better. They don't know why. They just are, yeah. right? So anyway, I, I think it's really it's messy. because they needed to be, and evolutionarily I, speaking. I don't, know, I don't know how you fix it, but you have to recognise that they have advantages and you've got to think about how you negate those advantages. Sure. However, or whether you give a shit. There's other sports like fucking snooker, yeah. darts, yeah. fucking ping Look, pong. There is a there is a female professional darts player who just plays with the men. You know, there's no reason to divide that. Imagine, imagine someone I kicking off. I got twatted by a couple of female darts players in the darts league I used to play with. There was a woman called The Hammer who used to beat me every time we played. She had The Hammer on the back of her shirt. <laughs> she was terrifying. She used to twat me. She'd just be like, 140. 140. Wow. 18. She was amazing. When you two played, did they build it as the hammer versus the sickle? Because <laughs> she did thin and horrible. It was good. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a review. Yeah, that's no, good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. 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 Thanks. <laughs> good. Good one. Dead men talking. <laughs> Up next, we're going to be reviewing which cars are. The <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the new Mazda is an affordable family hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like uh, those um, snooker women need to chill the fuck out. Whoever's yeah. complaining about that, shut the fuck imagine, up. Imagine, shut the fuck imagine up. Imagine being like, listen, li- listen. I know that this is a women's chess league, but <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. unfortunately, I think you were. But like, yeah. what? Do, the, there's certain spot. I, I get that it's a fucking contentious issue, but there are certain sports where you go, fuck me. You can at least let them have that one. Yeah. And snooker's one of them. Yeah. Sailing. I'm fine with anyone being any gender they want to be in sailing. Yeah. Archery. Dressage. Archery. Archery, yeah. Who's asked? Yeah, shooting of any kind. Yeah. Just fucking what, go on. Yeah, there's, there's plenty like yeah. that that are just really... Kickboxing. Fu- Bowls. <laughs> Kickboxing. Yeah, I think fine, let them go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, it does annoy me, that argument, when people are like, oh, someone in UFC might get hurt. It's like, what are you watching it for then? Like, that's why we're watching. I'm watching so someone gets yeah, hurt. Yeah. Someone's going to get hurt in everywhere. I think throw a fucking bear in there. I don't give a <laughs> shit. I want to see some fucking blood. That's why I stayed up till 3 a.m. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, the UFC fighter might get hurt. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Make one of them a robotic killing machine. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Jockeys, uh, male and female, compete with each other. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. No problem at all. It's funny, I think yeah. women have an advantage because they're yeah, usually little, yeah, yeah, yeah. smaller and slight. Yeah. Dog racing. I don't think there's... Do they have female and male dogs? I have no idea. No idea. I don't think they have trans dogs, though. Then you sort that out. <laughs> God, imagine transitioning your dog. Bless him. <laughs> That's going to happen in the next 20 years. Someone will transition a dog. I just felt very feminine energy off this dog. I want to transition, but I'd want the... Not, <laughs> well, not I want the man, a way to come out. Not the we man, support you. I don't want to have the man to woman one. I want the woman to man one, because I can't grow a beard. Right. So, like, all oh, the testosterone will give me a beard. Right. Get rid of my man boobs, and then yeah. extra dick as well. Yeah, and extra... I don't think they had another one on. <laughs> oh, they were, no, they were with me, because I would have got one. I don't need another one. Right. I don't but need a new one. I want another one. You don't have, like, a vulva to make one out of, though. They use bits... I'll get one from somewhere. You'll get one from somewhere. <laughs> Do you know a guy, do you? You've got a dick I don't guy. know a guy, no. <laughs> yeah, he messages like... You know a eunuch, sorry. Fat, fat stinky vulvas. <laughs> Ch- 
cheese. Why not just <laughs> rather rather than in that situation, rather than buying a vulva and turning it into a dick, right? Rather than giving yourself a little project knob, yeah. why don't you just buy a pre loved no, like, knob? Yeah, you see, yeah, the thing is, that, is yeah. people make the same argument about houses, don't they? Yeah. Sometimes it's better to buy one and do but it. But you're up not how selling you, it. You no, know, you're buying it and you're doing it up how you want it. Right, but you could also do a dick up like that. You know, you don't need to buy a ruin essentially yeah, you know, what, rebuild what they it. should do is rather than turning vulvas into dicks yeah. and dicks into vulvas why don't people just swap interesting what, interesting like, theory like house swap <laughs> yeah but like i think what would happen is the body would reject your new fanny yeah because it's i not think someone needs to you. research it though and... can we do knob transplants we can transplant other things honestly yeah. Yeah. maybe they're not an idea there if anyone yeah. out there but is there equal amounts of both types of trans people because you would need them to be exactly the same in order to perform the surgery if there's anyone out there that wants to swap dick and vag for a week i'm yeah. up for that yeah <laughs> I'd go for a vag for a week. Right, you're going to need more than a week for it to heal, I think. I think it'll take a little while. All right, okay, assuming that it heals instantly, which it will do because I don't get sick. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm happy mm. just have a week. Yeah, I'd, oh, I'd, I'd, week, yeah. I'd love to have a funny for an afternoon. Yeah. So, you know, just like check it out. Hang on, which week of the month though? It doesn't matter. I'm not going into work. I'm not coming here. If yeah, I've but... got a fanny for the day, you guys can get fucked. I am staying home and investigating. Yeah, but you don't want I'm period just weeks. Investigating. I'm going to be like, right, take... I'm going to be taking notes. I'm going to be like, <laughs> you know, doing a scientific experiment. Yeah. In well, that, in that like... case, you need a full month to to appreciate the highs and I'm the lows. I'm going to be knackered by the end of the afternoon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it's gonna be. I'm gonna have basically rubbed the clit off by the end of the afternoon. <laughs> what? What's the first thing that you're sticking in your vag, other than well, fingers, your, obviously, other than your fingers. Snooker cue. Not a snooker cue. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's around my Steve? Oh, he's playing German techno. He'll not be back till the afternoon. I'll Just... give it past that triangle then. <laughs> imagine, imagine chalking it up to go in. I think I'd. I think I'd go buy a deal though. I think you know. I don't think I'd look for it. <laughs> I'd get. A, I'd want a range. I'd want to go. You know, from the range. You want a dildo from the range? Oh no, you don't want a dildo from the range. Jesus, too cheap. It'd fall apart. Yeah, but... you get a dildo and a cushion that's glitter on one side, and then yeah. you push it like that, and it's soft on the other. I'd want a selection of sizes. I'd want to, you know, note the difference. Although that might upset me, you know, because if I'm like, oh, that is loads better. Yeah, if there was like, yeah. So if you had a vagina. Yeah. And you had I put a like dildo, one my size in. a dildo that was your size, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was uh, like, fucking, uh. and then you put one that was my size, and you were like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" Yeah, I just love tiny knobs. <laughs> it's, got, it's got the world's smallest vagina. That is just right. Really fits in perfectly. That other one was nearly split in two. It, don't make it sound like you're fucking Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this one's just right. This dildo's too baggy. This yeah. one's too hot. Uh, but no, I'm not putting. I'm not putting a your penis in me. No. No. Why? Because you're gross. Oh. Yeah. But I'd get a big rubber knob, yeah. I'd have a go on that. <laughs> if you're enjoying this podcast, give us three pounds a month, you big knobhead. Why would you do such a thing, Rob? Because you want more content and to support the podcast. Go to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. You get loads of extra stuff on there. We put an extra episode every week and tons of other extra content. You get loads of cool things. The extra episodes as well have been fucking amazing. We've had some fire few. ones this week. So we had the one where we uh, reviewed each other's first sets, which well, was absolutely fucking horrific yeah we had the one where we had uh we re- read out all my death threats when mm-hmm. i got fatwaed yeah and then we had the one recently where we watched uh dave Chappelle and we uh let them know what we thought yeah so if you want to know what happens on the uh patreon episodes uh we'll give you a little sample of one now so you can have a little uh hear of what you're missing out on if you're not giving us three quid here you go i told off uh, one of dave Chappelle's mates whipped his phone out to take a photo and i went no phones and like looked at me like this and then someone went that's uh, that's his mate I went, sorry, mate, take your, take your picture. To be, to be take fair, I imagine that as his friend, he'd be like, I respect you. He was like, no, it's cool. You know, he, like, he, he recognised I was trying to be I helpful. Underst- I understand yeah. you're trying to be part of the solution, not the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, young man, have earned yourself a gold star. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they could have given me some literal gold. I think it would have been nice. <laughs> you, young man, have earned yourself literal gold. Yeah. <laughs> mate, how sick would that <laughs> be? Literal <laughs> gold for all. Yeah. Just flips a pound coin at this fucking <laughs> lanky pauper. I'm scrabbling around <laughs> on the floor for it. Oh, thank you, master. <laughs> nah, if I ever get like Dave Chappelle rich, I'm, I'm carrying ingots. 
shots just to tip people with. Just like, bing, what a fucking baller move that is. Well, I'm going to have someone else carry it. It sounds quite heavy. <laughs> a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Like gold ingots. Yeah, I'm, that's my fucking entourage. I'm just gonna, the, the ingot barrow. I'm going to have loads of little tiny gold marbles that I'll flick down the road and watch people scurry <laughs> after them. <laughs> Go, pauper. <laughs> um, it's just fucking slingshotting them at homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you, sir. <laughs> um, can eat this evening. I have sent a few things in today. Uh-huh. Um, tell me what you think. Yeah. Can you click on, please? Can you click on punch? Of course, can. Uh-huh. Now, this is really no, funny. This, this could go either way. It could either be a fight or it could be some people enjoying some rum. No, just pause it before it starts. Yeah. It's neither a fight nor people enjoying it. Oh, is it a punch bag? It's a go back and put it all put yeah, it go, uh, up full to the top. screen please now you're going to watch a young woman here yeah. do one of those punch bag things where they get a score yeah and she the one that you're already shit at she does a really bad job freddy's really bad at this i'm not go you on. are you, you were really bad. Look, there's one in uh, comedy club <laughs> on the corner of it or something. Just watch it again. Yeah, let's Tell us to play. Where does she hit it on? Because she loses all her front teeth. <laughs> just, just, just describe what's happened, Rob. So she's gone to punch it. She, oh my God. She's gone to punch it. She sort of misses, slips over, twats her face on the corner and loses her two front teeth. Yeah. She's got, yeah, she's gone to punch, but she's miles away from it when she punches yeah, it. Yeah, she's now got a full crackhead face. Well, the thing is as well, is she looks like she would have possibly been quite a good looking girl. Mm-hmm. And those teeth, have, those two front teeth have gone straight They're out. properly gone. They're not even just snapped off. They're gone. Yeah. I wonder if she had like turkey teeth or something before this, you know, because they've gone pretty clean. They have just been snapped. Well, maybe they might have, you know, already have been damaged and come out again. Maybe she always had no teeth. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe she's just toothless. So maybe this mean, is just filmed in Barnsley. So, you mean to tell me that this young woman who has gone on a lot of effort for her night out, yeah. full face of makeup, nice yeah. clothes, nice dress, looking very smart, has just got out with two fucking it, gnashes missing? It's well, hard like, to get a dentist. Yeah, teeth think. are expensive. Like, you know, you can go Primark for clothes. There's no Primark dentist, is there? There's no Primark dentist. There's no Primark dentist. Little Asian kids. You go around the dentist, there's loads of teeth chucked all over the floor. (laughs) It's a minimum wage worker folding gums up. You're like, oh, these teeth are close enough to me size. (laughs) They're not quite the right shape. I'm I'm only planning on wearing them once anyway. Yeah, Yeah, you go outside and there's three other people with the same teeth this year. At this price, I'll buy 40. (laughs) It's buying spare teeth. Great, it's all right for base. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fucking bad that yeah. though. Losing two teeth over fucking slipping in a kebab shop. Like having a punch bag anywhere creates a bad vibe. Like we had one in the pub I worked in for a week. Yeah. Right, because the amount of fights. Because yeah. like people are just like guys are just pissed. Guys are getting more and more like like wanting to show off more. It's like any time we showed boxing in the pub, there was a fight that night. Every night, every oh, yeah. single time. Oh, yeah. So, like, putting a boxing machine in a kebab shop. Kebab shops in Britain are the Wild West. Like, they are crazy. At 3 a.m., kebab shops are insane. Putting that in there, creating a bad vibe already. Yeah. Like, let alone when you get someone dumb like that. She's not wearing her shoes. I bet she had high heels or something. She's like, oh, it'd be safer without my shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking stacks it. Imagine getting beaten up by a punching machine. Yeah. (laughs) Where's, Where's the weirdest place you reckon you could get away with having one of those punch bags? Without it looking totally out of Church. place. Church. Like, Church. Right. <laughs> Funeral home. <laughs> Just as you're like picking out a casket. Library. <laughs> Library, yes. <laughs> I saw one at bowl- in a bowling alley once. I didn't think that's out of place. Yeah, no, because there's arcade games, games and stuff games there. Yeah. That's fine. It's arcade vibe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hos- hospital that. ward. Yeah, that'd be bad. What, the oncology ward? <laughs> it's just a lot of bald people queuing up to score 20. <laughs> No, that ward where it'd it be like um, if you've had your arm chopped off, and uh-huh. it's, just, it's just there just to look at. Yeah, just to talk. What you think? There's a whole ward of just yeah. arm chopped. Yeah, off. for limbs and stuff. Oh yeah, send her up to the arm chopped off ward. All right, a limb the rehabilitation hosp- hospital in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> the theft ward. Prison. 
That'd be a bad place. That'd be a bad place to have one. I yeah. think prison would be a good place to have it. I think there's enough of that vibe anyway. It's exactly. Quite a testosterone That's why. Give, heavy vibe. Give them a give them an outlet. No, <laughs> not that one. I could reform prisons quite easily. Mate. I don't think you could. <laughs> I think I could. I don't think you could. I think you could. One point two machine done. What's my plan? Okay, so um, plan number one yeah. is to not have any segregation. So I don't like the idea that, like, if you're a pedo, you go, I uh, can I go on the non-swing? And they go, go ahead, like that. Now you just got to fend for you yourself. I don't think you ask to go on the pedo wing. I yeah, just and like, it's it. not just, like, that wing isn't just, like, pedos. Yeah. It's also, like, police snitches, ex-police. Um, yeah, they're all going in the, se- the general Just people population. who've been targeted and bullied by the other people, rape victims. Rape victims? Yeah. Yeah, you're throwing them back in, are you? Just throwing them back in with the people who've raped them. Just going back in. Back in you go, lad. Good luck. It's all right. We've got a punching machine now. Yeah. Different cellmate. You get a new cellmate. What if it was just like everyone's raping them? (laughs) They're just going in the showers and they're taking turns. They're running a train on them. They're they're really, really fit. Yeah. (laughs) Really? Yeah. (laughs) As soon as as they walk into prison, everyone gets their snooker cues out. (laughs) They're irresistible. That's why the key game rates. They're so beautiful. Yeah, Yeah. So they've got to be in general population, have they? Okay. Now he gets a cork. (laughs) Right. Well, that's that problem solved. (laughs) Thank you. Uh Uh, So uh, you're not allowed, this is my prison, you're not allowed to just sit in your prison chilling and smoking spice and stuff. So you, I don't right. think you're allowed to do that now, to be honest. Yeah, you're not meant to do that. That's already one of the rules. Um, but also, it's it's very hard to detect it because you can't detect it on drugs tests, so that's why it's so popular in prison. There's no test that shows yeah, it. Yeah, but you can detect who's on it pretty easy, can't you? Sure, but then you've now got... like, How are you punishing the spice people? Bear in mind, you've now got no segregation, so there's nowhere else to take them. So wh- what do you do? Okay. Outside. So they have to <laughs> go outside. Letting all the prisoners go out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So just the spice heads go outside, mm-hmm. and they're only allowed back in. Yeah. They, they've just got to wander the prison grounds. They're only allowed back in when right. you've either sobered that up. That might be better than being locked up all day, though. So you sobered up. No, but for weeks, they're out there. Mm-hmm. No food, nothing. Oh, right, just... no, you're not feeding them anymore. No. I think that might be a, a crime against humanity. I think you'll be in the Hague Yeah, but this. if you want things done... Sure, war you, crimes are... they look to starve them. War crimes are effective. They Well, they get things done. They do, they do. You know, you it's because they work so well. Mm-hmm. It's like hack... Yeah. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you're not allowed, right? So they're not allowed, so not only just just clarifying on the rules we've got so far. Okay. Not only is there not any segregation where people who are vulnerable to being attacked can go. Mm-hmm. Also, they're not allowed to just stay in their cells and keep quiet and keep out of trouble. No, so, so I've got. <laughs> so you're forcing them I've into got, one area no, no, together. I've, I've got a full day plan for them. Okay. So uh, they have to go to school. Right. The pedos still. Well, sorry. The pedos have to go to They're all in the same <laughs> class, or is there a pedo set? No, there's different sets. Right. Right. For nonces. Just get yeah, and also as well, like, you, we figure out what you're interested in, what you're good at, mm-hmm. and then everything. What if they're interested in kids, and they're good at fiddling them? <laughs> Spice. Um, <Yeah. laughs> lock picking. Right. I feel like they're transferable skills. You, you, sorry, you <laughs> want to take people in prison <laughs> lock picking? To be fair, you know, Timpsons... The key cutters, yeah. they, have, they have like a big thing. Yes, but like they, a, hire, prison scheme. They, they hire rehabilitated people when they come out. Yeah, you'd say teach. you're rehabilitated. And they're you? not lockpicking as well. They're just cutting keys on a machine. They're not going around people's <laughs> gaffs and learning how to fucking get in. Well, I used to be a paedophile. Well, then I spent 10 years in prison. And now yeah. I'm a paedophile that can pick locks. Yeah. I, don't th- I also don't think Timpsons hire pedos. I think they just hire people who've like done a burglary or something. I may have, I may have exacerbated the situation. Yeah, lot picking is not a good plan. Right? I so, may have exacerbated the situation. Lot picking can't be. Right, okay, I'm just trying to think about what somebody who's good at fiddling can mm-hmm. do. The harp? The harp. <laughs> so when they get out of prison, they're going to be a harpist. Why not? I don't know how many jobs in harping there are. It's because there's not many people that can harp. Exactly. Is that the problem? Is it a supply problem? <laughs> it's a supply with issue. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Name, I, name one mate, harpist. I would listen to the harp <laughs> way more if there were more. If, if you knew it was a nonce. <laughs> yeah. If it, you knew it was a pedo. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah. So they've had their harp lesson I'd for I'd love a, a harpist in it. Yeah. Not a pedo one, right? You've had you've you've had your pedo harp lesson for an hour. What the, what's next? No, no, no. It's an all day thing. It's all day. <laughs> yeah. They're just doing harp all day, every day. <laughs> 
like yeah. that film about the drummer. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Whiplash. Yeah, like Whiplash. whiplash. It's just like, again, <laughs> pretend it's a child. He's just, are you, are you pulling a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you pulling a dragon? <laughs> Dragon, pulling. <laughs> Which one was that? So you do know the difference. <laughs> well, I can't see any flaws with this plan. Right. <laughs> That's prison solved. So, so if, also, oh, you've got more of you. Also, also, can I just say, how much of a nicer vibe would it be <laughs> if you went into if you went into HMP Wentworth and you were just met by scores of heart music? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, it's fucking lovely in here. Yeah, but what if you teach pedos how to play the harp and then when they get out, they use it to lure children to them? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the Pied Piper. Yeah. We just teach them really horrible songs that no one likes. I don't think you can play horrible songs on the harp. I've never heard like harp. Exactly. Death metal. We need more harp music because it's all beautiful. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not convinced on the harp, but. Right, right okay. All right, that's pedophiles done. Now yeah, murderers. Yeah, yeah. Murderers. Right, okay. So, so it's just the pedos doing the harp. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. the hands busy. Fiddling. Keep the hands exactly. busy. Well, this sure. is it. You tire the fingers out, yeah. and then they won't want to. Yeah. Or you make them stronger. That's mm, the other problem, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they might is get better they, at fingering. They get better at fiddling. <laughs> yeah. And they get better at going like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beckoning as well, yeah. I think you fucked so, it. And to get better at this. And with the lock picking, they'll be in their house in no time. Murderers, yeah. what we do with murderers is you sit them down. We make them do stand up comedy in Boston in the 80s. <laughs> murderers! Moya. You, you sit them down and you make them um, read books. Uh-huh. I think people do already read books in prison. But, but, but you, this is not optional. You have to sit there. And you have to read books to like widen your worldview, and then cookery. So Ooh. you read books first, then yeah. cookery, bookery, then cookery. Yeah, yes, <laughs> then you, boogery. You two hours of books, uh-huh. and then you do uh, six hours of cookery. What right. about cannibals? I think, I think, just to be clear, I think a lot of people in prison are reading then cooking. I think this already happens quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, no, but that's only if you're good. Whereas yeah. with this, it's mandatory. Oh, so you're gonna have the worst people doing the nice job in the kitchen. The, the, the cushy job giving the knives as well oh, yeah. giving the knives and access to the food boiling they get, water they get a little bit no, no, you know they make no, themselves so, a little bit of an no, extra so, nice meal so, it's a privilege to work in the kitchen no in a so we need to yeah you need to change that so so they, now there's not a privilege so you so know there's no reward for right, doing well so, so basically everyone's no there is privileges right uh-huh. so, so everyone's cell right is completely blank and empty right okay but you get to earn a mattress Right. And bedding, uh-huh. and you know, you know, this is how it works, but just not as brutal. Like they already give them a mattress, but they they earn like a telly or like you no, know, no, more no, stuff. no. Oh, oh, telly is so far down the line. So you, um, yeah, you're allowed all those things, and then right. you're allowed toilet paper. Oh, so you don't get then... toilet paper at first? No, no, no. no. no you've right. got to earn it, uh-huh. and then you just keep. And then, have you heard of prison riots? And then, Are you, what, have you heard of prison riots? Okay, so here's, do you know what happens when you take things away from prisoners? Oh, oh they'll be banned as well. Prison riots. Sure, yeah. I think they're already discouraged. Well, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to um, feed them a very low calorie gruel, so mm-hmm. they're going to be so tired from playing the harp all day that. <laughs> Right, that's just the pedos playing the harp. Well, that's they... going to be the soundtrack to this riot. It's going to be a very <laughs> mellow kickoff, isn't it? Prison band. Every crime gets a different instrument. Oh my god, that's genius! Right, okay. So the drummers have to be the murderers because you've got yeah. a lot of yeah. Yeah. A lot of this, yeah. lot of this yeah. motion in yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, rapists are bass. Mm. Yeah. Trumpets, I think. Rapists. Yeah. Wait, flute. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Why are why are rapists trumpets? don't know because they blow yeah <laughs> what that's your one yeah it wasn't a serious one they... it wasn't a genuine attempt at one there i think do you know what? i do you know what rapists aren't allowed in the band because they're the worst whereas the pedos they mm. get the harp yeah that's worse than not being oh, in you... the band but like <laughs> But like, yeah, it's, bigger, against heart. it's a bigger punishment. Yeah. <laughs> if only so much more of the music industry took your prison stance, of not having rapists in bands. Cello, that's the rapist because they're fucking well heavy. That's a really good shout. That it's actually a pain to carry cello, out. Cello, cello, but you, you you got to carry it yourself and look after yeah. yourself. I don't know. I think some of them have quite good upper body strength. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to make them stronger. Yeah. Oh. Tuba. 
Hmm. Is there a music instrument that like goes over your arms? What? What are you trying to trap someone with a musical <laughs> instrument? <laughs> no, I don't think there right. is. Two didgeridoos, one on each arm. <laughs> How are they playing them then? Bagging them together. <laughs> Just give them two like pool noodles. Tell you what, give them those clappers you get at the football. Like, you know, like <laughs> shit clubs. They've got Vuvuzela. those. Vuvuzela. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the rapists get a Vuvuzela. Because everyone eats them. Yeah. A whistle would be oh, too ironic. Off, it? Over yeah. heart music as well. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this band's going to kill it. The Vuvuzela. Yeah. It's going to end up sounding like Life of Pablo, mate. What about, what about people who commit fraud? Yeah. Uh, people who commit fraud... Triangle. No, oh, I think no, something slightly more complicated because yeah. they are... Saxophone. 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 Yeah. It's quite a sexy instrument, the saxophone. It's a sexy crime. Fraud. <laughs> yeah. Fraud's like the least sexy crime. So I just love a bad boy. You fiddle, you fiddle <laughs> your taxis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just like the idea of Bernie Madoff. Just, yeah. <laughs> just playing a really good saxophone solo. Yeah. Tell me that this wouldn't change lives. I mean, it would change music. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What other crimes are there? Burglary and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's like you've got to have them. You've got to have something of low value because otherwise they'll nick it in it. Uh-huh. That's triangle then. Triangle. Triangle's yeah. pretty cheap. Maracas. Yeah. Yeah, maracas. Maracas. How can you steal maracas? Mm. Come here, John. What's that down your pants? <laughs> or get them like marimbas. <laughs> so it's like a massive drum. <laughs> The unstealable instrument, <laughs> maracas. Yeah, it's not possible to leave the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I. What do you think? <laughs> Which, tell us in the comments what prison crimes would go along with these prison instruments. crimes. Yeah. What as, as opposed to the non-prison crimes. Yeah. yeah. Like OJ. Okay. Yeah. So that was a non-prison crime. Yeah. Right. Yeah, innocent. So if you get away with it, you're not in the band. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You can only play musical instruments in prison from mm. now on. I think the pedos should probably be doing emo lyrics, isn't it? That's what they normally do. Normally a vocalist. We fix the pedos, don't we? Yeah. Them. Wow. Just, you know, saying it's probably not where you want them. You, uh, you doing a Lost Profits thing? No. You are right. A little bit, yeah. 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 A little one. A little. A jiggy little one. Have we got any... Well, I've we got have, some yeah. videos. Let's play uh, Fairground Ride. All right. Like This one's been going around Twitter. It's been dead fun, this. He's a brutal one. So it's a fairground in India. Oh, is it in India? It's in India. It's what I read on a caption. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, I saw a caption that said it was uh, Indian. And to be fair, the name of the guy who's put the video up seems like it could be. Here we go. So it's like one of those spinny towers where a, a disc goes up the tower. Here it is, having a little spin around. Everyone's having a lovely time. And it just breaks and falls and smashes yeah. their asses. To well, this is a longer version of it than I've seen. Here we go. It's going right up. It looks so dodgy as well. Oh, yeah, it? here we go. Ooh! <laughs> That's bad. It's so man. insane, isn't it? It's like, it's, it hits with <laughs> such force. Because you're on like just the shitty plastic bucket seat on them as well. So like that is so yeah. many broken what? arse bones. I was going to yeah. say, I was going to say, that's what you, it's your coccyx. Coccyx, it? spine, just that force going through all of them. Some of them are like flung into the air. When it hits the ground. Maybe this is what we should do to the prisoners as well. That's what we should do to the rapist. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, hey, maybe it is a fairground full of rapists and this is a win, you know, but I I, I don't think there's any evidence to suggest that currently. Um, yeah, fuck it awful. I don't like going on rides myself. I'm not I a ride guy. I hate roller it. coasters. Yeah, if you don't fit. As well as the height, they've got a width honestly, one. honestly, like, like joking aside, that's part of it. Yeah. So it the, is for me as well. I'm too long. So the thing is, is, is if, you're, short if you're a weird body <laughs> s- yeah. s- size at like Alton Towers, they'll put you in and they won't feel like the fucking, you know, the things that come down. They won't feel it click, but they'll yeah. go, oh, it's fine. Just hold on to and it. And you're yeah. like, is it? Yeah. Because it don't feel fine. Like I've had to duck on roller coasters a couple of times and I don't know if it was going to hit me what was going past, but like I didn't want to fucking chance no, it. No, it'd take your head off. Exactly, yeah. Have you been on Smiler at Alton Towers? The other mm. one where the woman lost her legs. No, I've been on air. Leah Washington. I've went on that before that. Why do you know that her ex- name? Oh, sorry? Why do you know her name? I have no idea. That's so weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you just know the name of the woman who lost her leg on Smiler? It's an odd bit of knowledge for you to have. What do you think? Yeah, because why do you need to know her name? <laughs> I don't know. Why do I know her name? It's really weird, mate. Yeah. Just just check that I'm right. I believe you. I I, I just... I thought. What do you that- say? Leah Washington? L- yeah. 
and Josh Pugh came up as an autocomplete. Yeah, that's her. That's her. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's fucking crazy. What do you mean? Well, it's just weird that you, you remember that. And it is from 2015 as well, yeah. so... Oh, Joe Pugh, not Josh Pugh. It was her old boyfriend was called Joe Pugh. I thought it was Josh Pugh. Alton Towers couples share they drifted apart after a devastating crash before engagement. Mm. I reckon that was him that decided that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it would have been harder for her to walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they were drifting away, she was doing it slowly. <laughs> I think she's got about three million. Yeah. 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 Well, not, not using your legs anyway. No, I know. It's I'd... actually quite a good investment I'd for t- you. I'd take the money. That's how when, how it, that's when he left rascal... the money and ran out. How, how much does a rascal scooter cost? <laughs> So you got to work out whether it's a good investment or no, not. No, I get, I get bionic legs like... Um, bionic legs yeah. for three mil. Yeah, like He-Man. Not He-Man, uh, Iron uh, Man. Like Iron Man. You're getting Iron Man legs for three million. <laughs> yeah. And he... I know a guy. You know a, a bionic leg Yeah, he, uh, he sells vulvas that you turn into penises. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so... <laughs> and also bionic legs. For yeah, three... yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. spending the full three million on bionic legs? Uh, so you're going to have to. No, I'm going to That spend... feels like a point to just keep your real <laughs> legs then. <laughs> If you're just trying to upgrade your legs. How much do you reckon Oscar Pistorius's legs would be? I reckon they'll be cheaper. They'll be a couple of grand because they're just like no, bendy like, material. No, I mean like the actual. Oh, the actual the signed. The actual running Oh, legs. the ones with blood still on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> does, he, does he get his legs in prison? Yeah. There was a bit where... I don't think he gets the sprinting ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, he's yeah, yeah. gone. It'll be over the fence, isn't it? <laughs> he's gone straight for the harps. You imagine, <laughs> you did not give him his running legs, did you? <laughs> I did, and he ran away. No, I just gave him the bogo sticks. Yeah. But there was a bit when he was... <laughs> more and more airtime as he reaches the wall. Somebody stop him. He's going to get out. But no, there was a controversy when he was first in prison, though. They didn't give him his legs at first, and he was, like, wandering around on his stumps. That I mean, that's a fitting punishment, isn't it? Yeah. You know, well, this was before he was found guilty, so it was bad. You know, he still technically was innocent. Though. I think what, what they should do is they should surgically implant Tiny little wheels on right. his legs. Make him like a suitcase. <laughs> Have a little handle come out of his back. Make him a trunky. Yeah. So fat kids sit on him at the airport. <laughs> Duncan Valentine looks at him and goes, oh, I should have invested in that when I got the chance. <laughs> uh, have we got any um have we got any video video? Um... Oh yeah, we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um let's start with the one on the far right. This one made me fucking wince earlier. Oh, no. Was this the one where you, earlier on, you went, Ah! Oh, my Ah! God. So this is a woman fingering herself with a fucking knife. That's a big knife, that. It's a big knife. Is she doing a DIY trans operation? Can you pause for a second? It's the biggest (gasps) knife in the block, isn't it? Of the, if you've got a knife yeah. block, that's the big chopper. That's like your good one. knife. No, no, that's, exactly. That's, that's your main knife. Well, well yeah. it's your chef's knife. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So th- this is why Rob wouldn't have a vagina for any longer than an afternoon. Mm. <laughs> this is what happens if he had a month in. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's your chef's knife, that. Yeah. So that's for your most of your stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I imagine... Should be it... using a fish knife. <laughs> 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 it's like this is the one that made me wince earlier when I was just like before the show when I was setting up. Yeah. This is the one that made me go ah. This it's... is the one that you didn't finish watching. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I haven't seen the end of this. I don't know That's if it's fucking really slits, bad. That knife yeah. right in the fanny, right yeah. in the fanny. Can you move your uh, the mouse off the pause thing? Go up so it just that bar goes away. Nah. Cheers. I want to see it all. Nah, She's nah, turned nah, it nah, sideways. Nah, nah. Oh my god! Well. There's gunk on the knife. There's gunk on the fucking knife. There is. She turned it sideways. Ah! Oh, oh my God, that's like already so bad. Her, that's what? so bad. That's so bad. Oh my God, her fanny is rotten. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, oh she's turning it round. Uh, she's turning it round. It's got to be blunt. It's got to be blunt. That, that is. Oh God. Yeah. Have some respect for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if people had respect for themselves, we wouldn't have a podcast. Do you know what? Do you know what? That's the one that we show female guests on this podcast. Yeah. Oh no! Because, no, because, because we show them like dicks get stamped on and that, and they're and like, they are, they're, yeah. like, they're like, oh, get, oh, goody. Oh, yeah. We'll save we this show... one in reserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, oh, I think that's good, dear. It's genuinely upsetting that, isn't it? It's when yeah. it, cause it starts out sideways as well. That's why it's so instantly like mm. ah. Because if it was just in the front way up, it's still horrific. It's horrible that. But sideways is brutal. There's a lot of minging gunk in her fanny as well, isn't there? Yeah. Like that's not. Yeah. 
Like, I've had a good look at a lot of fannies. I've not seen much gunk like that. Have you had a good look at a lot of fannies that have knives in them? <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is a subset I've not got into. Yeah. Maybe, she, maybe she's just been chopping something else before. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like semolina. In my head, she's been is... chopping porridge. In my head, this is how Harley Quinn masturbates. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's that level of fucking weird. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that that woman was molested as a child. <laughs> I what like a barber? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like by Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine she getting, was molested by a butcher. Imagine, <laughs> imagine getting molested by Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. He he touched me down there, <laughs> but he did trim my pubes. So, <laughs> can you describe the gentleman? He had black hair. Um, he was really thin, and he had massive scissors for hands. Fucking hell! It's fuck that in it. Bad. That's really bad. That's a strong one. Whenever I think that these can't get worse, I'm constantly surprised. They get worse. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm like immune to him, but every week I see something that upsets me. That's even really further. Bad. We've not seen that before. No, that is a new one for Oh, us. this better not be like fucking cum we snorting. Right where, to left. Where we go. Oh, yeah, I'm nice. sure we'll get loads of them. This is how it always goes as well on this. We get like one thing that blows our mind. Like we had like a woman snorting cum, and then we got five yeah. cum snorting videos the next week. So now we're going to have entire fucking kitchen cabinets up people's muffs. <laughs> Coming, whisks. Shoving, whisks, spaghetti spoons, fucking tongs. Oh, on, melon a baller. Pizza, a pizza wheel. Oh. <laughs> a pizza wheel. Hey, I'm about to shag the pizza wheel. <laughs> Just the like my mama used to rape. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> let's, let's, the one you're hovering over, why yeah. don't we watch we'll this one? We'll go right to left, shall we? Yeah, yeah. This one is a uh, woman, quite a nice ass. Yeah. And she's pulling her things down. She's wearing a butt plug. Very nice. My cup of tea. Yeah, no. No, not my cup of tea. No, well, it's not a butt plug. It I, might be your cup of tea. I, I hope it's not another knife. Oh, it's, it's not, not another knife. There's no knives involved in this one. Well, not that I know, to be fair. So, so that's not a butt plug. No, but. Uh, what is it, like a little globe? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. It's a globe. Yeah, she's shitting out the world. She's got the hot. Oh! oh! Oh my uh, God! There's planets. Yeah. Planets keep She's coming out of her ass. She's got the entire solar system up her ass. That's a fried egg. And a fried egg. egg. Uh, and a golf ball. Yeah. It's like a fucking clown sleeve, her ass, isn't it? It just this keeps like coming. Sticky, oh my God! Yeah. I don't know what this one is. She's like this. Is, this is like the sixth. Like a item. dolphin. Yeah. That's a dolphin. Fake dolphin. Look how many more come out. Mm-hmm. These are all dog toys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She shoved half a pet's her home up her ass. <laughs> Oh, so much stuff. Oh, so much stuff. You should know. You put it in there. Yeah. Maybe I'll find my key. Maybe she'll find what? My key, I think she said. Is there more? No. Oh, fuck. That's about eight things. Eight dog toys up her arse. Yeah. And she's not put them with any way to get them out securely as well. There's no, like, handle on them. Like, you know, a butt plug's got a base. And there's a dildo up there. The dildo's massive as well. It's long, isn't it? Oh! 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 Oh, a little, 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 prolapse. little prolapse at the end, just to keep it on point. Wow. That one's amazing, isn't it? Because at first you're like, all right, she's got a globe up her ass. And then the amount that it keeps going. And then that's a finisher. She is a show woman. She knows what she's doing. I'm throwing that out there. I would golden buzzer that on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Have you seen Sticky Vicky in Betty Dog? I'm aware of Sticky Vicky. It's very similar to that, but yeah. there's loads more. Yeah. But there's like a DJ there who goes along with her and announces things as they come out. Yeah. But he has like a little script and stuff. So she must so she must put like 30, 30 things come out of a minge. Yeah. And he announces them in order. So yeah. she must do it in the and same order toy. every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there's fucking a weird as shit. Yeah. It's like razor blades coming out and stuff. It's weird. Oh, yeah. But she's like an old woman whose fanny's dead back well, it's, do- it's a daughter who does it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Something else. I don't wow. Yeah, the family business. I want you to follow in my footsteps. They, ju- they just do it in pubs as well. It's not like announced. It's, it's just it's just there. And it's like anyone can be there and it's just there. It's yeah. mad. Yeah. Right. What a way to pay the bills. Let's go this next one. This next one is entitled Go Fuck Yourself. Oh, is, is he shagged himself? Yeah. He's pushing his own dick inside his arse and he's cum. Yeah. 
Mm, Fair play. It's amazing. We've had someone shagging themselves before, but from completely different angles. And also with a much bigger cock. Yeah, that's sort of like a regular that regulation was... size knob. He's managed mm, to get in his own ass. A little small on the small yeah. side. It's I not a say. small one. No, I'd say it's a, like little, normal. a My... little on the smaller side. I would yeah, say maybe. Like... Considering what he has to do, I guess. I just get to yeah. bend it that way. I know. It's so like the it's opposite like, way. I know. And like, yeah, it's like it goes against the curve, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, fair know. play. You yeah, know, fair play, you, man. you live talent. your own truth. What a talent. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. If I could, I don't know if I'd want to. No. Because again, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, your dick's in an ass, but also you've got a dick in your ass. Yeah, you exactly. Know? So it's like, yeah. It's like you, you've become your own perpetual motion machine. <laughs> 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 we need to hook this guy up to the grid. That is how you save the fucking energy crisis. How amazing would that be if this was Liz Truss's plan? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not worse than half the things that come out with in the Telegraph. Yeah. Like, yeah, where they're like, oh, put foil behind your radiators. <laughs> put your dick up your own ass or keep you warm, <laughs> isn't it? That's how you get through a fucking cold winter. <laughs> What's the next one? What's the next one? I, I don't know what this one is. Oh, here we go, yeah. I see someone's drawing. L A. <laughs> And Lana. All right, okay, she's... Oh! Oh, my God! She's, he's written Lana. What a reveal at the end, isn't it? He, he's, he's written Lana. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm guessing, like, Lana Rhodes or something, and maybe. Then, and then he pulls his fucking a pencil out of his cock. Yeah, and we've seen, like, betting pencils go up people's knobs, but never a full HB. HB. It's a full yeah. yellow and black Bic HB. That's it's the never full been length. used, that pencil. That's oh, the no, first time that's been used. Fresh out of the pack. Well, you've got to get a new one if you're shoving it up your <laughs> knob, innit? You don't want yeah, this high- one out of the drawer. <laughs> There's hygiene to think about. Exactly, Freddie. Exactly. You want to make sure you're not doing this dirty. If that's what you're into, it's going to cost you a fortune in pencils, isn't it? I don't think that's the main issue, to be honest. I think pencils are. I think that's about twenty p's worth of pencil. I think you're <laughs> going to be okay. I think you can do that for a long time before the pencil is the worry. Yeah. Like it's so far up, like because it, it, it's it's got to be in him. It's gone past yeah, his yeah, knob. Yeah. That that's gone in him. That's yeah. got to be like belly buttons. Yeah, it's got to be like tickling the inside, hasn't it? Yeah. It's that far in. The fact that he can move it to right while it's that far in. Yeah. So he's moving it around. Yeah. It's fe- what skill? It's kind of impressive. Practice makes perfect. Oh, I just don't want to put anything down there. The no. only time I've ever had anything go down my pee hole was like a, 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 the gum clinic when they put a little hook, down, a right, little hoop yeah. down it. It's just a little tiny hoop just to get some like you know scrapings, and it stung like buggery. It was like not a pleasant experience. I wasn't like I'd like that to be five times as wide. Yeah. Fucking grim. Only a Yorkshireman could describe that as it stung like buggery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up it stinks. It was like right uncomfortable. Buggery. Right, th- this this final one we've got here is I'm I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say um, I think top ten worst things I've seen on it. Oh, worse, oh, worse than knife. Mate. It's well, mm, I don't, maybe not today. To be fair, knife <laughs> is a knife has gone into one of the hall of famers. I think we do need to make a folder, by the way, called the woke, the worst of all time. So we can come back to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, I, I think this is one. Of, this is disgusting. This video. Let's go. Is that the smeg that I think it is? It's not smeg. What is it? Is that maggots? maggots? Oh, not maggots again. Yeah. Maggoty funny. Maggoty uh, funny. And someone's shagging the maggoty funny. They're shagging maggots into someone. Why? Every people into maggots. Oh. Wow, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. There's so many. It looks like it's a... like at first you just think there's a few around the edge, but then the show inside May. and there is a uh, colony. Funny, looks like a fisherman's tackle box. I... <laughs> if we get the right person on that couch, that will make someone sick. Definitely. Oh we yeah, will yeah, definitely yeah, 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 yeah. I nearly went. That's there. horrific. Yeah, there's so many in there. There's a lot. Can we rewind that? Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah let's, let's have it. another I wanna, look. I wanna, Again. Uh, yeah. I want I want the bit where they look in. Because like, I was like at first like uh, like watching this like, uh, when I realised what it was, but then oh. like, uh, 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 there's a lot. Yeah. Imagine. Oh. If, imagine if that was your dick. Imagine the wriggling that you'd feel. As which that which one of them says, "I've got an idea." <laughs> You've got to work up to this. This isn't date one, is it? You know, this is. <sighs> <sighs> really tough that it's a tough one that's isn't it? a really tough I actually thought it was worse than the knife yeah I think so no too. it's not as bad as a knife but it's pretty bad I don't know you think knife's worse I think knife went through me but that one made me feel a bit queasy yeah let's get the woman who works on the cafe to watch that <laughs> 
fucking off <laughs> the tits that one. Genuinely some of the worst ones we've had though today. Every time we think we've reached the bottom, people uh, people impress us more, don't they? And if you want to try and impress us... Impress uh, is the wrong word. <laughs> send uh, your video via WhatsApp to 07520644931. We have a couple of rules. No death, no animals, no racism, and no... Children. Children. Yeah. However, if you can hit all four, it's fine. It's and not also, fine. It's still very illegal. Also as well, and, uh, please don't send us that. We kind of have relaxed death. and. It's like if we think they might have survived, send it in. <laughs> Also, yeah. also we're, don't forget we're doing the worst penis competition. Oh, yeah. If you've got a particularly horrific knob and you want to enter our Who's Got the Worst Dick listen to the podcast, send a picture or into the WhatsApp. Or list as Why well. Why are we yeah. asking for dick pics? Because I think it'd be very funny if we get a load of shit knobs sent in. We will show them on the internet, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah we will show them. We won't say your name, though. You can leave it anonymous. We'll just get in touch with you to get an email address to send you prize to. So we'll know your name. But maybe. You know, you yeah. can maybe get, like, set up an anonymous email or whatever. Ten, Tenminutemail.com. Yeah, exactly. You can get a fake email address. Set up an email address yeah, for 10 yeah, yeah. minutes. And we'll work out a way to get some sort of prize to you if you've got a horrible knob. Yeah, we'll get... <gasps> but we're going to need let's... them... To, we're going to need them to like hold a sign let's... saying dead men or something so we know they're not yeah. just got it off let's... the internet. It's got to be next to a 50p. Yeah, let's... yeah, but also it needs to be something that... No, you know... okay, okay. So the 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 words DMT have to be in, in the shot. Picture. They have yeah, to be yeah, in yeah. shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can't Photoshop it in. It has to be in shot. Which is right now, on a bit of paper. You right on your dick. <laughs> 10 points for that. It, if you can fit it. This is it. We're hoping for people who can only get a D on there. If you... Um, and no shame. We just want to see your little if touches. You, if you win... Um, get a free Patreon yeah. for if one you, month. If you win... <laughs> one month for showing us their tiny knob. Three pounds. Yeah. If you win, or one pound. we will get a custom trophy made for you. Yeah, we will. So we'll go <laughs> Very to a, tiny tro- a trophy yeah. shop and we'll get a tiny little diseased penis trophy. <laughs> That will be yours, and we'll send it out to you for free. <laughs> oh, I'd love to go to that shop. Uh, so, send I've got a the... request for you. I've yeah. got a custom build. Yeah, yeah. What? How would you like to do the least amount of soldering you've ever done in your life? <laughs> have you got any trophies that look like the aubergine emoji? <laughs> you know how you have the little karate man on the top. Well, yeah. Can you just change that to a tiny penis, please? <laughs> So yeah, send in your tiny That's horrible really knobs. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> a little football trophy, but with a, a bell end. <laughs> uh, we'll also do a most improved penis award for most right, improved penis of the year. Up. Yeah, Manager's yeah. choice. Yeah. yeah. Player's penis. Yeah. <laughs> penis is penis. So send in your horrible knobs to oh seven five two oh six four four nine three one. To be honest, if you've got a horrible fanny, send that in as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You can, yeah like, we don't want to exclude. Yeah, uh, whatever you've got. If you've got... Biggest minion, fanny. Yeah, either a massive <laughs> fanny or a tiny knob. Or that trophy. Yeah. <laughs> A Champions League style vagina. <laughs> no, 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 it's, on no. It. <laughs> it's like it's like a, a community shield, <laughs> like a big dinner <laughs> plate, but inside is. Put that uh, up. Put that up in your office. Yeah. So many. Won that mum. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, also as well, uh, if you haven't already, check out our Patreon. It's patreon.com. Uh, forward slash dead men talk pod uh, it's three quid a month and for that you get an extra episode you get access to all the videos that we watch on the discord server you get access to the extra uh content that we make the live roast shows and stuff mm. mate one of the vi- the, the patron that we've just done i know we mentioned this briefly it started off <laughs> a, a, as a as a, a public, public episode and we just realized we and then couldn't. 20 minutes later we were like we can't do it. It was two minutes later, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was well, two we, minutes. But we, we still soldiered can't. on for a bit more under the pretense that we could put that on YouTube. We actually thought about making a Patreon's Patreon, like a double level it was that bad. Yeah. And this is what we put out to the public. So this is, <laughs> there's a maggoty vag in this. <laughs> and this is public. Imagine how bad Patreon is. And for three quid a month, you can find out every yeah. fucking week. Get on our discord as well you don't need to be a patron to be on discord we welcome you into the poverty pen if you're not on their patreon you're still welcome to join the discord but there's you just can't of, see there's loads of shit on there there's loads of different the artwork's bits. my favorite stuff. mine too the fan art I the fan art love. on here is super but and also there's loads of really uh 
Uh, our, our editor Sam keeps it refreshed with loads of really interesting, like fucking emotes and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good it, little community it, going. I got roasted on there the other day. I put a picture on, and uh, yeah. everyone in there roasted me. It was a terrible couple yeah, of hours yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> our, our, our fans in the Discord are fucking savage. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, great. Nice but yeah, you can join that if you're not a patron. But if you are a patron, you get access to all the videos that we show. If you want to see a knife in someone's cunt, well, <laughs> have we got the Patreon for you? <laughs> you will never run out of things to say at the pub ever again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, do you want to see a uh, maggoty cunt? <laughs> you know, if you've got a lolling conversation, I suggest chucking that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, check it out there. And also, you get a free, uh, you get another episode every week. It's dead good. So uh, yeah, send us in your videos 07520644931. And we want to see your horrible knobs. Uh, but without further ado, I think that's everything, isn't it? Without further ado, I think that's everything. Shut the fuck up. Let's just go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why do you always got to be like this? Right. Well, it's got to be picking fucking holes, haven't you? I'm trying to end the fucking episode and you're going to come. Without further ado, that's the end. <laughs> it just feels weird. Well, there's no further ado. Now there is much further ado. There's been loads of ado. You keep doing ado. Can we stop ado-ing? Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fuck off. Damn.